So which will bring water to a boil faster when placed over a fire? An old sooty black pot or a brand new shiny one? If you're interested in finding out, keep watching. So some time ago, I made a video at home in my kitchen where I used two pots roughly the same size and volume to boil water over an alcohol stove. And what I was doing was testing two competing theories. One that says a dark black sooty pot will bring water to a boil four times faster than a clean shiny one. And of course the competing theory is, is that a clean shiny one is not insulated from the heat by all the tar and resin on the black pot. So which one worked? Which one came to a boil faster? Well, if you go back to that video, and I'll put a link up in the corner, you'll see that the tests were absolutely inconclusive. There was like seconds between them. Had the black and potent worked four times faster, it should have boiled at least, well, twice as fast, or come to a boil twice as fast as the shiny pot. But that wasn't the case. A number of viewers commented afterwards that, well, that's all well and good to try that over an alcohol stove, but what about over an open fire? Because an open fire has radiated heat that an alcohol stove may not be offering. And they're absolutely right. The reason I was using the alcohol stove is because I wanted to control all the variables that I could. Same amount of heat, same, same stove, in a condition where the t inside temperature was the same, and there was no wind. So today what I thought I would do is come out and test that theory on an open fire. So the two pots I'm going to use, well one is one of the pots I used in the original test and in that test I was using a brand new shiny Camawil 1.2 liter pot. Well it's not too shiny anymore and I've been using this extensively and as you can see it's heavy with tar and soot all over. I do wipe them down so I don't get my bag dirty but other than that I don't bother scraping all that tar and resinous blackness off because I quite like the look of it to be honest. How am I going to compare it? with a brand new shiny 1.2 little camera wheel pot that I bought just for this test. So this has not had any water in it at all. It's brand new and uh, well you can see the difference. So first let's get a fire going. So I'm using some birch bark off of a dead log on the ground and it'll burn, it's just a little reluctant to get going at first. I probably could have broken it down into smaller pieces but my smalls are catching. A couple of loose pieces of birch bark, I can probably add a few more smalls. There's a brace behind or underneath the birch bark and there's some sticks on the ground to form a base against the wet frozen earth. So airflow won't be an issue once the birch bark catches. But my next set of smalls I'll put a crosswise to the first set. Give them a second to catch. good. Some more smalls. Yeah, we're ready. That's ready. A little bit of moisture in there, you can see. Good, it's climbing through the smalls. I've got some smalls and some littles. 
which are just a little bit bigger than smalls. Now I think I can put a few of my smaller splits on. So it's going to take a few minutes for this fire to get to a point where I can put the water to a boil over it. So I'll continue to build a good fire. I want to get a nice hot base of coals for this so that there's a lot of radiated heat. And once we're ready to put the pots over the fire, I'll bring it back. Okay, in order to make this test as fair as possible, because of course the challenge was going to be to get both pots suspended over the fire evenly in terms of height and in the flames as much as possible. And the fire is looking pretty good now. I may just knock it down just a tiny bit to kind of spread it out a little bit. But here's what I came up with. I have a piece of inexpensive link chain and a piece of copper pipe. So I've got the two pots suspended in the middle and it looks as about as parallel or as level as I can get them. The spouts are facing out from each other only because when it comes to a boil I want to see which one is producing the steam. On the end of the chain I have a small hook and it's not quite long enough to reach the fire from the tripod that I'm using so I did have to extend a piece of paracord down the tripod. So let's see if I can't get this rigged up and hanging over the fire. It may take a little bit of adjusting and then again, it may not. All right, I don't think I could have done any better. Uh, maybe move them a little bit to one side. Uh, I think that's pretty good, actually. They're both in the fire as evenly as I can get them. Now, there's only two cups of water in the pots. Because, of course, that's the standard measure that I use, everybody seems to use for testing boiling of water. I'm not timing this. I'm, it's not a, I'm not interested in seeing how quickly it'll bring water to a boil. Simply which one will bring water to a boil first. And I'm expecting it'll probably happen in three or four minutes. What I will do is I'm actually going to let this run in real time. I'll bring the camera in a little closer. And uh, I'll speed it up for the sake of the video, but uh, so that you can see the whole process from beginning to end as it sits over the fire. That's what I'll do. I may have to tend the fire from once in a while. Let me see if I can bring in a little closer without losing anything. I want to be able to see the top of the pots. All right, let's just see what happens. Okay, what appears to be happening is that uh, the wood is wetter than I thought it was, and even though I did have a good fire going at first, it's reached down into the wet base, leg, base logs, and uh, I'm getting more smoke than I am active flame. Now I can build the fire back up again, but I just want to point out that uh, even though the fire is dying down, both pots are exposed to exactly the same conditions. So even though my fire is not doing well, Everything should still be equal, so I'll just get my little telescopic uh, bellows and see if I can't get this fire to reignite it a little bit better. I've got some drier wood on, hopefully now, but I'll get her going. And again, I'm just going to continue to let the video run and uh, we'll speed up the process.
All right, excuse the uh, movement of the camera, folks. I'm going to try and bring you in to see what we have here because I think we have one of them at least boiling. So, again, I didn't want to interfere with the process of being able to see this. I'm just going to bring the camera back a tiny bit. There, okay. Now, if I can get down there again. little pot lifting stick. So the brand new shiny pot does have a hard rolling boil in it. The dark black dirty pot is just short of a boil. Actually it's coming to its rolling boil even as I speak. So my, I don't know if I have a clear conclusion, but my feelings on it at this point are that there's not enough of a difference between the two pots coming to a boil to say one has a very, very clear advantage over the other. In this test, and this is only one test, and of course you, this has to be repeated a number of times if you want to really call it conclusive, is that the shiny new pot did in fact bring water to a boil faster. However, having said that, as you watch the fire, I'm sure you saw what I saw, or hopefully you saw what I saw, the fire may have favored the shiny pot ever so slightly. There may have been a bit more flame under the shiny pot than was under the black pot. Having said that still, even with that differential, as small as that was, had the theory been true that a dark pot would bring water to a boil four times faster, it should have come to a boil long before the shiny one did and that wasn't the case. All right, now I've got two pots of nice hot boiling water. I think I can make some lunch, maybe even some coffee, and then we can close up with a few thoughts. Well, you can only do this test once, I guess, because my brand new shiny camel wheel is no longer <laughs> brand new or shiny. You know, I guess I could probably go home and clean this up and see if I can get it bare, down to bare shiny stainless steel again, but uh, you know, for my purposes, I think I've seen enough in terms of testing this theory out. Uh, a few thoughts on this. Let's see. I had both of these pots, to the best of my ability, sitting over the fire at the same height. One of the things that I had some trouble uh, controlling was where the flame was at its greatest intensity. And I think if you look back in the video, and probably when I go to edit this, I'll see that the... Uh, flame may have been a little bit more intense under the brand new shiny camo well pot than it was under the other but not by much both of them were more or less directly in the flames and it wasn't that it was a big fire but they were pretty close so can i draw a conclusion from this test no i can't you can't draw a conclusion based on one test only too many variables such as the fire itself what i can do do is draw some pretty conclusive, at least in my mind, observations. And that is that the theory that a dark black pot will conduct heat faster when put over a fire to the tune of four times faster, uh, I don't think there, it's valid. Uh, I'd be happy for someone to prove me wrong to do a more rigorous testing than I've done here. But when in fact the shiny brand new one actually came to a boil I mean, we're only talking 20 seconds faster, maybe 30 seconds faster than the black one. Again, too close in time to make a huge difference. The black dirty one should have come to a boil much quicker had that theory been correct. Now, the other theory was is that that dark, thick, caked on uh, sootiness and, and resin and tars acts as an insulator. Is there some truth to that? Well, this I've seen pots and I have pots that are much more thickly coated than this. So could there be some truth to that? I think yes, in some circumstances there could be. But once again, if it made a big difference, then this one should have been much slower than this one. Not just 30 seconds slower, but much slower. So what can I say in terms of conclusions? I can't. What I will say is for my purposes, a clean pot, a dirty pot, they'll both come to a boil at about the same time, whether it's on an alcohol stove or an open fire. 
Again, I hold it open. I open that up to you. If you think there's something I should have done differently, could do differently, or if you know of a test where it proves it much more conclusively, please put it in the, in the comments section below because I'd be interested. For me, I'm going to let my pots stay dirty. Not, you know, loose and sooty. I like to wipe it off before I put them away so I don't get other things dirty, but I'm not going to bring them down to the shiny metal. Okay, that's all I have for you in this video. Again, I invite you to add any comments that you would like to in the, in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because you know it'll make all the difference. Bye for now.